Hi guys, I wasn't actually planning on doing one of these shows today, but um, I went to the Fishmongers today, Welshies, down in, um, in uh, New Haven in Edinburgh, and there was such a great array of fish, and I thought to myself, it's really, like, really, really so important that we, we are supporting these little fishmongers, these butcheries, you know, these veg suppliers, everything, not just going to the supermarkets, it's amazing. And the fish that he had today was just like, it just, you know, it was just beautiful. We got hold of like a John Dory, okay? Now John Dory is one of the kings of the sea and I, I understand not everyone will be buying John Dory, but again, it's exactly the same principle uh, when cooking. So we're gonna do what we call a fish tray bake, okay? But first of all, I want you to look at this John Dory that we got from Welsh's Fishmonger today. So with me today, I've got my wee sidekick, Lachlan, who is, uh, he's a great wee chef, and he's very good at all the little jobs. Right, Lachie? Oh, all right, look at this, Lachie. Hmm? You, there's, there's, a, there's a book with the Johnny Dory in there, no wee Johnny Dory, what book's that called? Tiddler. Tiddler, that's right, I think it was, a, was it a Julia Donaldson book, I think, yeah. Anyway, Why do they only have one eye? Well, that's brilliant. That's a really good question. Well, we've got one eye here, but also we've got an eye on this side as well. Hmm? Because when he swims in the sea, he swims like this. Now, this is a really beautiful fish. I know this scares people. People are scared with the whole fish. What do I do? Okay, so even just buying fish. So when you go to the supermarket, everything will be portioned, so you can't see how fresh the fish is. When you go to the fishmonger, you can look at the fish and you can really understand how fresh it is. So, a couple of tips. Look at the eyes on the John Dory there. They're so shiny, they're so alive, okay? So super fresh. So look at the color of the flesh, Lackey. You see how f firm it is and you see that the, it's kind so of green. Yeah, but when something dies, there's always a little bit of blood. Now, so into the gills, you can see how fresh and red they are. Now, you would never get that in the supermarket like that because everything would be portioned. So you would be a complete lottery. Here you've got the cheek of the John Dory, full of meat and delicious. And here the fins here are just still alive. They're still perk as well. So that fish is in absolute prime condition. Now, we're going to do this dish here with the John Dory. You could... You could buy some sea bream, which are really, really affordable. You could buy some farm sea bass, some mackerel, some sole. It doesn't matter. Again, it's just the principle of what we're going to do, okay? So I'm really excited about this. We're going to cook everything together on the tray, and then we're going to feast What's on this, this John Dory. That's the tummy. That's where the tummy Ingredients. Listen, honestly, this is very off the cuff. Literally gone into the fridge, seen what we've got, okay? So we've got some potatoes. I've actually cooked these. We've got this beautiful pak choy that I got in a Chinese supermarket. It looks absolutely delicious. I've got red pepper from yesterday. I've got tomatoes. I've got some spring onions, some leeks, some little chilies, some onions, some garlic. And I've also got that garlic butter that we made. Do you remember, Lucky? Yeah, so we're going to use a bit of that as well, okay? So it really is... What, when I'm thinking about this fish, I'm thinking quite Mediterranean flavours, okay? So, you know, those kinds. But you could... You can put whatever veg you want, but think veg, how long it takes to cook. Lots of good olive oil, and we're gonna need some white wine as well, and some chicken stuff. Oh, and I got one of these, what's that? You'll never sword. guess. A sword, exactly. Ciao, ciao, ciao. Lemongrass, okay? Right, first thing, Lackey, we're gonna grease our tray, okay? So olive oil all over the tray, all right? Right, Lackey. Potatoes, okay? You're going to cut them quite thick. So maybe cut each one into three, okay? Can you manage that? And what we're going to do is we're going to start to build up all the different veg on the tray. Now, the reason I cooked the potatoes was the fish is only going to take about 25 minutes to cook. So the potatoes probably wouldn't be cooked in time. So I just cook them off. But then all the other vegetables are going to cook in time, okay? So we're going to the onion. Okay, how are we doing? Cut it into three. That's it. Good chopping, you know. Good chopping, okay? 
Okay, pack choice. We're going to cut in half. We've got to think that in the middle, the fish, the main part of the fish is going to be in the middle. So we've got to leave a little space. So, oh, that's loads like it. That's loads. That's loads. The next one we're going to do. Okay. Okay, a wee bit more. So we're going to put the tray like here. We've got some spring onions. Okay. I'm going to dot them around. Like so. Now we've got some lime. Why are you putting all of the vegetables on there? Yeah, I'm going to show you, buddy. So the lime I'm just cutting into pieces, and I'm going to do the same with the lemon. I'm going to cut the lemon into slices. Okay, so we're going to add, we're going to add some stock to this, and we're going to add some white wine, and we're going to the cooking like us when everything cooks together and all the juices of the fish come out that is going to make a beautiful sauce at the end as well okay got some red pepper now we've got some cherry tomatoes now these will go really soft when cooking but they will add such a sweetness such a sweetness that's enough potatoes la, 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 la. Okay, now a few little small chilies, which are just going to spice it up, but we leave them whole. Garlic. You can never get enough nice garlic. Nice yeah, you love smashing garlic, don't you? Wait, 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 wait. What should we think is? Oh, you really clench your fist. Yeah, that's the hard bit. Ah! Okay, so use this bit, the really hard bit of your hand. Wait, just like that film we watched the other day. What was it called? Karate kid, that's right. Oh, you, okay, you do that one. Ah, ah. Very good, well done. How fast this is going, it's minutes, it's minutes. Right, now for this beauty. Okay, so we lift, we lift it up, okay? Wow, look at that. Oh my goodness, this is so exciting. Um, now, everything is on the same tray. Everything's on the same tray, exactly. Okay, good dash of white wine all over. Okay, now, yeah, so we're going to use this garlic butter that we made the other day, Lucky. Now, some of you might not have watched the show, but we we, uh, we foraged some wild garlic and we made a wild garlic butter. And I was saying it's really good to keep it in the fridge or the freezer and you can use it just like we are tonight in your cooking. Now, olive oil, all over. For you? What do I do with the rest of these potatoes? Yeah, I told you to stop the potatoes, but you kept going. Mm. We're going to have them for lunch tomorrow. Nothing goes to waste. Get this over here. Oh. Okay, and now like it, we're going to put salt. So put the salt all over the fish. Mm. Really like it. So we're going to get the salt a little bit on the vegetables as well. Oh, that's enough. And then a good bit of pepper. Honestly, it looks like it looks like a painting wacky. Doesn't it look so pretty? Eh? Look at all the colours. Does it look pretty? And then here, this is um, a little bit of stock. Now ideally this would be fish stock, but we didn't have any fish stock, so. I'm really happy to use chicken stock here because it's such a neutral flavour chicken stock. But I'm just going to put, honestly, just to reach the bottom, to cover the bottom. Mr. Gary Welsh, thank you very much. Eh? And remember, you get, Gary Welsh is doing fish delivery, so you can go online, you can order your fish, and he will deliver to your home in the Edinburgh area, okay? And lots of other fishmongers are doing that all over the place as well. Okay, I know this dish looks a little bit challenging, a little bit daunting, and a lot of ingredients, but it's not. Honestly, you can do it. Now, the reason I wanted to go that extra mile and do it tonight was, maybe you can look at it and be inspired for the weekend and go and try something really different, okay? So preheat the oven at 180, and we're gonna pop this in the oven, and I think it's gonna take about 25 to 30 minutes to cook, okay? See you soon. Right, let's get this bad boy in the oven. Yes. Look at this big fish. Okay, so carefully take it out. 
So we're only like halfway through the cooking process now, but what's really important is that we baste the fish. This is what we call basting. So we take all the juices and we put it back over the fish. Ooh, what do you think? Good. Beats fish and chips, doesn't it? <laughs> so exciting. Right, my wee pal. Look at that. Okay, we are ready. Okay. Right, watch, be careful, that's really hot. I know what you're thinking at home. I can't do that. I can't do that. Um, that's too complicated. I'll never be able to do it. You can do that. You can, you really, really can. Now, how do you know it's cooked? Well, this fish, you see here, this is the, the thickest part of the fish here, okay? So I've got a needle here, a trussing needle, but if you've got a small knife or a knitting needle or something, that goes into the thickest part, just into the spine, okay? Count to four, one, two, three, four, okay? Carefully, bring that to your lip. It's just nice and warm, okay? We want it. You want it? You see? You see it? It's nice and warm. Okay? So we don't, we can take it out now. And it's the same as a piece of meat. We need to just let that rest and then we're going to serve it. Potatoes, the garlic, the peppers, the tomatoes, chef's bit, the cheek of the fish, okay? I'm going to give this to you, Lucky, because you've done such a good job. There you go, buddy. Good? Well done. Yeah. And then all that lovely stock as well. We want to make sure we get that. And all the flavor is in there. Oh, man. Now, the fish. This is the bit you're all scared about. Very simple with a fish like this. We just got to go down. The bone and remove a portion of the fish, and then look, we just go and we just turn it like so. And look, like that. A little bit more stock on top, Lucky. Now, what I want you to do, Lucky, is put some of these herbs on top, okay? So, a little bit of basil. A little bit of coriander and we just had a special delivery this is a bit a la carte this one lucky okay and a little bit of that okay some of the salad on top okay lovely okay very nice very artistic and then a good dash of olive oil beautiful presentation Lachlan well done Guys, that's a wrap. I know it looks complicated, I know it looks daunting. You can do it, you can do it, go on! Um, tomorrow I'm gonna to try and do a pork belly. I'm not promising, but I'm gonna try and do a crispy pork belly. Inspiration for you guys to do it on Sunday. Then you can get out and you can buy the ingredients. Roast pork belly on Sunday, get in. Bye! Bye. <laughs>